Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, uh, Friday the 9th of August <laughs> in the year 2024 and I hope you are well, beautiful family, God bless you, I'll just, I'm just going to read you this scripture, um, I'll read you this first then I'll tell you what, it's only going to be a short video of this, so 1 John in the Bible chapter 3 verse, starting from verse 1 Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God, sons and daughters of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that have this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Hold on a second. Whosoever committeth sin also transgresseth. Tra sorry. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Now, let's go. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sin. And um, so listen, he says, uh, uh, Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Right? And we know that we fall short daily, if we're honest, we, we do. Whether in word or thought or deed, we try our best and we must try our best and repent from everything we can think of that's wrong of course we must um, but if you go to verse 9 of chapter 3 1 John whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin so we abide in him his uh, listen but the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you and you need not that any man teach you but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. So, I just want to give you this, but I've come on here to, to recommend Brother Aaron's channel. Many of you will know him already. Um, it's called God a Minute. It's a takeoff. Got a minute. God a minute. And um, his... his uh, Hebrew, all glory to God the Father, the Lord Jesus, is Hebrew and he's Greek. Um, well, he's teaching me quite a lot of stuff and I recommend him to you as well. Um, and he's a musician. He does some funny things sometimes. <laughs> he's, he plays music and he <laughs> he's, he jokes, uh, jokes, you know, he gives us a laugh. You know, we need a laugh in these days. I'm sure it's the Bible, I'm sure it's the Bible that says laughter is medicine. That's where we get that saying from, somewhere in the Proverbs, something like that, he says. So, laugh, try and have a laugh. Yeah, so so I recommend him. I'll I'll uh, pin his channel at the top of the, this comment section if nobody knows knows it, him, so you can just click onto that. Because it, you'll be so blessed by him, I'll tell you. You're so blessed. And um, what is the video, the last video he's done, whew, well, watch it. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> Watch it. So, he is the son of perdition. I know he is. I know he is. I'm not being big headed or anything. Um, you see, well, it's not me that identified him as Holy Spirit. When I watched him inaugurated, 2009, I watched him inaugurated and I'm sat there watching it on my own. And I don't. I didn't even watch TV normally, but I thought I'd put it on to see this new American president. So I'm sat there watching it. And I'm, I look, and he comes onto a stage, and and straight away I'm looking, 
I listen, you know, and I didn't even, I'm not looking for the Antichrist or anything, you know, um, I, I wasn't, that was back in 2009, and Holy Spirit just spoke through me and said, he is the son of perdition, right, I might as well continue, um, and I went to my church and told them at the church, and they didn't shoot me down, they just, they kept it in their minds, she said, hmm? Perhaps, you know, the, the minister's wife. So let me tell you a bit more about Barack Obama. Um, go to Aaron's channel and it'll show you what Barack means. And um, I think he, I can't remember what he, just, just look and you see what Barack can mean praise, curse, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and you used to be able to look online and uh, Google the meaning of Barack Obama's name, and it literally, I can't remember what it what it's, it means, uh, you know. But uh, but now they're saying it's changed. Anyway, whatever it meant, like Satan falling like lightning, or something like that, or curse, or I don't know, something like that. But the cursed one, or something, I don't know. But but now, now you try to Google it, and it will put. Barack Obama means the blessed one, the anointed one, and all this lot. So it's just so obvious. Well, it is for me anyway. I'm I, I'm not going to say it's so easy if you haven't seen what I've seen. So I've, I've told you before. Um, well, I, first of all, the Holy Spirit, all glory to God the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who identified him, um, spoke through me. I, I didn't even, I couldn't even hold my lip, my ma mouth, you know, he just spoke through me. He's the son of perdition. I didn't, that's the words I used. I didn't use Antichrist, son of perdition. And, um, and then 2017, I've got, I'm in a different flat, uh, apartment, and I have a, the most, well, the most powerful vision I've ever, night vision that I've ever had. I'm flying through the air, um, not with wings or anything, just flying through the air. And... I know there was a, a collection, a complex of white buildings. I'm not saying it was the White House or anything. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been. But anyway, I, I sit down and Barack Obama sat there. And I sit behind him and he's speaking to an audience. And, and I say to myself, oh, wow, I can see him and he can't see me. I didn't see who the audience were. I just All of a sudden, Barack Obama turns around, looks at me. Absolutely enraged that I discovered him so I say whoops time to go like this so I fly off and I get to some a place I think I'm I've got away from him and I see him flying through the air his face uh, contorted with rage so um I flew off again I got by to some rocks near the sea and I thought I definitely got rid of him this time and he's coming through the air again and like this, you know, and he wants to destroy me. So I say, I literally, I'm, by the way, I'm in control of this. Well, God is in control, but I'm, I'm, I'm in control of this vision, which is so, this is why I say it's probably the most awesome one I've ever had. And uh, I, I, I wake up in my bed drenched in sweat and I, and I shout, who am I? <laughs> like this, I just didn't know what to say, I suppose, that's just my reaction to this thing and then I have, in this flat I have a dream a couple of years ago I see him I, I believe the building that he was in was the Vatican and anyway a huge high ceiling and all ornate wooden carved work and everything so I, I presume it was the Vatican or, or some other religious type building anyway within this room um, there is, is a glass storage room like just a glass room square totally square square glass see-through room and it's, and there's all this golden artifacts and stuff and and he's, and he's picking this golden statue in his hand and he's chuckling to himself as he carries it towards this i think it's a preservative tank where he's storing all this stuff and um so this time he didn't see me thankfully <laughs> but it says in Daniel that he will not be given the honour of the kingdom, but will obtain it with flatteries. So in other words, I believe that it's saying that 
he won't be like a typical candidate for the for for the Jewish Messiah, um, but will obtain it with flatteries, which I've interpreted as with gold and and silver and precious things, and um, and the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, they are going to help bring him in and establish him as their Messiah. This is the truth. Pray to God about it. Um, please don't argue about it, though. Um, you know, I'm 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 on on here mostly to to tell you to go over to God a minute channel, and you know we can all learn from each other. And I I recommend him to to you because he's very good, very good, and um, yes, yeah. Sometimes he has people on there as well, which are very nice. So anyway, family, I love you very much. I can't wait to be in them clouds any moment. So hold fast, hold tight, because we are certainly in the season. You know, I don't believe we're going to get to next year. If we do, I doubt it. But if we do, then it's because God is all long-suffering, not wanting any to perish, because the tribulation... If you haven't seen my dream with the picture of the dragon and dry dinosaur in it, watch that. I can't remember what I called it. It's a, like dragon. I can't remember what the name of it, but scroll down, you'll see a, a dragon and, and it, I say a dream. But this, that dream of this this dragon thing I saw walking up the streets, devouring people in my town. Um, what was I going to say then? Um, well, that that dream next to the Obama dream was too. It was so powerful, so powerful. This night vision that I had, that I woke up like twenty past three in the morning, and I I, f I knew I had to record this and get it on video, and I'm fumbling about with me a um, selfie stick and I snapped it trying to get it so quickly. It was the way that God gave me this dream was, well, night vision more like, because it was in the spirit. Um, it, it, it's, it's like it was such urgency that this is going to happen any moment now. Um, demonic invasion. That's what it is. When all these aircraft, which are above us right now, pray to the Lord about it. Don't be afraid. We haven't got a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Don't be afraid. These things are above us already. Only they cannot be manifest, manifested until that which withholdeth is taken out of the way. Holy Spirit indwelt body of believers, the light of the world, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, bush. When we're snatched up, phew, I'll tell you, then these things are coming down in these demonic spacecraft. So you don't want to be left behind. Please heed the warning. I'm, nice, gentle warning, I'm telling you. If you're not saved, that is, if you haven't believed on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, do it now. Lay hold of your eternal salvation. It's so important. There's a heaven and there's a hell. You must lay hold of salvation. You need saving and forgiveness of sin. Because the Bible says it. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. For it says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned. Sin is the transgression or the breaking or the violation of God's commandments. And we've all done it. We've all lied. We've all hated somebody at some point, which is murder. So just believe that. Recognize that, should I say. You know, be humble. Do this, please. If you haven't laid hold of your salvation, I've got such an urgency in my heart. It's off the charts. Um, I mean, I've had an urgency for some a few years, but now it's just like increases daily every day we're one step closer so if you haven't believed on jesus and laid hold of your eternal salvation do it now there's only one requirement and that is to believe in your heart the gospel of jesus christ god so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life john 3:16. God gave his son as a sacrifice. Christ Jesus died for our sins on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. 
and it's your lifetime of sin, past, present and future sin. He removes it as far as the east is from the west. They buried him in a tomb. He rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. And when you believe that, you know he, he died for you on that cross. doesn't matter what you're doing or what you've done. Just believe it. Um, repent. We turn to the Lord and say, yes, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. Say a simple prayer like this. Um, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I, I know you are the Son of God. I know that you died for me on that cross. I thank you for shedding your blood for the forgiveness of all my sin. I know you rose again from the dead. And I ask you to come into my life. That's what I said. Come into my life, Lord. And he did. And he will if you do that. And he'll save you with everlasting life. And you'll be one of the ones taken up to heaven in the rapture when the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ will rise, will be resurrected first. Then together with them will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. This is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, the spotless, spotless Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, Jesus Christ. So if you haven't accepted him, know that he loves you. He's knocking on the door of your heart, and it doesn't matter what you've done. I'm telling you, think of the most heinous things you could ever do, and the Lamb of God, will take away your sin. He will remove it as far as the east is from the west and cast your sin into the depths of the sea, never to be remembered. And once you're saved, you're sealed until the day of redemption. Ephesians 4.30, Ephesians 1, I think it's verse 9, with sp sp Holy Spirit of promise. So you don't lose that salvation. You're sealed. You now belong to God. You're born of God, born again, saved with everlasting life sanctified set apart as god's own and um, justified by the shed blood of jesus christ justified by faith by your faith in jesus christ and um you'll be taken up to heaven in the rapture when he descends and takes us up before what's coming upon this world is so terrible it's underestimated how terrible it is God, show me what's coming upon the, the beast, the evil beast of the earth. You know, World War Three and the, the sword, famine, death. It's going to be terrible. So don't hesitate, please. Please. I'm begging you because we don't want to see what's coming upon this world. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. Jesus said that men's hearts will faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It would be terrible. But for if you're in Christ, then rejoice and be glad. Because fool, and thank him. Thank him. He saved us. He's called us, elected us, chosen us, and called us out of this world so we don't belong to it. So don't be surprised if the world hates you, brethren. Um, the world would love you if you belong to it, but you don't belong to it, Jesus says. That I have called you out of it, therefore the world hateth you. But remember that it hated me first, Jesus said. All right then, family. <clears throat> I'll try and get out and do a, a, a walk and talk video somewhere where it's nice and, and talk about some, some nice things. All right then. God bless you. Uh, please don't argue about this stuff, you know. I'm only telling you what the Lord has told me and shown me. And I know, I know it's true. Um, I'm not trying to be big-headed or anything. I'm just telling you what. I believe God, I don't believe God showed me who who Barack Obama is just to keep to, keep to myself, but to tell the whole world, as many people as I can. Um, that's what I think. So that the people who are left behind will know that, you know, he's, he's not the saviour of the world. And when he receives this in Revelation, he, a mortal wound to his head and he, and he supposedly dies and comes back to life. 
I believe that is a lying, one of the lying wonders with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. This could be st a strong delusion. Then again, the, the demonic invasion might be some strong in in delusion or, or the strong delusion might be a collection of things like evolution. I'll tell you something, we're so close guys. Do not fear. Do not be discouraged. Um, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee and draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. No matter who you are, what you've done, he has promised that he will not turn anybody away that comes to him. Just be honest and humble. So be willing to say, yes, of course I have sinned. And then believe on Jesus Christ his death on that cross for all our sins. They buried him and he rose again from the dead. He is the Son of God. Call upon him, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, all right, family, I love you lots. It's a bit of better weather out there today. A bit of sun shining, so I might try to take advantage of that and go for a nice walk and try and <clears throat> think of some nice peaceful things and prayer for you, etc. I love you all and I thank you for your prayers as well, beautiful family. I know most of you are from there, my subs, and I love you all. And no matter where you're from, if you're my brother and sister in Christ, well, we're members of one another. We belong to one another. We are each living stones of the temple of God. How wonderful. How wonderful that he brings us together like he does, you know. So glory, glory to you, Father God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you, we love you and bless you. Maranatha, Jesus Christ.